Hey guys, this is Michael, Tree Line Backpacker. I wanted to come at you with a little bit of something different today. This is a self inflating sleeping pad from Freeland. This is something you can get off Amazon. I uh, actually got an email from these guys. I uh, hadn't heard of the brand or this model. They contacted me and asked me to do a little bit of a review of it. And I checked it out. It looked interesting enough considering the price and what you were getting. So I thought I'd give it a shot. So here it is. Uh, what it is is pretty much a self-inflating sleeping pad. It's got a foam core and that's about it. You do get a couple of interesting features which I'll walk over with you. And this goes, and this is the reason I really wanted to try this out, it goes for 33 bucks, which is of course pretty cheap in the world of camping gear. So, let's take a closer look. Now when we get up nice and close, the first thing you're going to notice is there is a pattern on the inside. This is the foam core. It has a little bit of an egg crate texture to it. You don't really feel it when you're laying on it. It is relatively thick. It's about an inch thick, built completely out of polyester, so it should be fairly durable. I've not had any problems with it so far. Another interesting feature, which seems to be a big selling point, is the integrated pillow. Uh, down here on the side, you do have a couple clips, and these allow you to clip one sleeping pad to another. And that will, if you have two of these, allow you to combine them into basically a floor. Really nice for a car camping tent. Down here on the bottom, you can see the logo, Freeland. And you do have these straps, and these are neat. Uh, these are integrated to the pad. You can take them off, I think. Double check on that. Okay, you cannot take those off. Uh, they are grommeted in or riveted, I guess would be more appropriate. Uh, but basically you can fold the pad in half, deflate it, and these straps allow you to compress it up to a fairly small size. Uh, down here on the bottom, we do have two inflation valves. This having a foam core, you can basically open these up. The pressure of the foam expanding will suck in most of the air for you. So. It is a self-inflating sleeping pad, and it does a really good job of that all by itself. So you're not going to have to go huffing and puffing to inflate this thing. Now, it is a fairly large sleeping pad, a little bit wider than your typical model. Uh, it weighs around three and a half pounds, so it is a little on the heavy side. So it's not something I would really recommend for backpacking, but it is an appropriate weight for car camping. Now, there are a few things I like and a few things I don't like about the pad. Uh, of course, the price is great, about 33 bucks right now. Uh, that could, of course, change, uh, but it's a really good price. It is completely built of polyester, which tends to be really durable. Uh, the seams are welded. They seem to be holding up pretty great as far as my limited experience with it so far. I've only had it a couple weeks. And the thickness of the pad does make it relatively comfortable. Uh, you really can't feel the ground through this. You can be on gravel, rocks, sticks. It will absorb most of it. And this egg crate design combined with the air inside actually gives it a pretty good feel. It has a nice compression. So when your body's pushing directly against it, it's going to absorb and kind of conform to the body shape. So that comes across feeling pretty good. Fairly well insulated actually. So if you're camping in, I won't go below freezing until I test it more. Uh, but if you're in cooler weather, even cold weather, you should be able to stay warm. So all that's pretty good. Now, one thing I do not like is this pillow. And there's a few reasons why. So I'm going to pull this a little closer. Uh, I personally do not like a huge, thick pillow like this has. Uh, this pillow will not allow you to keep your back and neck aligned. So it's going to bend your neck up. Uh, if you're sleeping on your stomach, you're going to be almost arched backwards. Uh, if you sleep on your side, it's not too bad. If you sleep on your back, it's not too bad. Me, personally, I prefer something thinner. Um, just something that's going to be easier on the spine. Now, you can deflate this pillow, but once you do, this sturdy sort of feel actually starts to just rock your head side to side. And you really can't get stable or comfortable on it. So, you can't really deflate it and get away with it that way. Now, you can completely deflate the pillow and just get it out of your way. But, if you do that, what you'll notice is suddenly your full length sleeping pad becomes a short sleeping pad and you're actually going to have either your head or your feet hanging off 
So for me, I would personally deflate that sleeping pad or pillow, get rid of it, and I would throw a backpack under the feet and turn it into a full length that way. Uh, I feel like that works pretty good actually. Uh, so I don't like the pillow. I really wish they would just extend the length of the pillow, give you a full length pad, let you throw something on top of it instead. And I do actually like the dual valves on the side. Uh, the only problem with these are they are a little big. Uh, so me, basically, I like to let my pad mostly inflate, let it do its own job. And then once it's there, I actually use my mouth to inflate it to be a bit harder. I like a nice, firm pad. And these are huge. Like, they are hard to work with. Uh, if you're trying to put your mouth over that, it's hard to just get a good seal. And it's hard to seal it back up while you're doing that just from the size of it. I know it's a minor thing, but it is a little bit of a complaint I had. Uh, that's really about it. So about three and a half pounds about 33 bucks. It is pretty affordable uh, It is heavy. I would not backpack with this, but if you had a couple of these thrown into a car camping tent uh, That could actually work pretty good. You do have an included stuff sack Which seems to be fine. It's not like super well built or anything um, single threads no double stitching really uh, so it could eventually tear. I could kind of see that with some of the threads on the bottom. They're not super well done. So it may not last forever, but it is a nice way to temporarily store the pad. You don't want to keep it in there forever. Uh, due to the type of foam that's in here, it will compress and deform. So you do want to lay it out, keep it at least partially inflated while being permanently stored. But it's not bad. You can find this thing on Amazon. Give it a shot yourself. Uh, everybody seems to like it. My only real complaint is that pillow. If I had another version that would get rid of that, I'd be quite happy with it. But that is it. That's the Freeland self-inflating camping pad. And I'm going to hold the judgment until I tested it quite a bit longer. I want to see how this thing holds up in the long run. Current reviews are pretty good. Uh, not a lot of people complaining about faults or failures, but it is Amazon. And sometimes those reviews can be a little sketchy. So I want to keep testing this guy. If anything changes, I will let you know. So, thanks for watching. Treeline Backpacker. Catch you next time.